Hey everybody. Good morning. This is our top three class B. Video. Which, which I think is the third in this series so far. <laughs> I think bear, we've got about five or so. Yeah, bear with us. We are we're really milking all these uh, walkthrough videos right now because we're doing a lot of traveling, and so these are easier for us to just uh, throw up and post and keep you guys uh, some videos flowing. The big thing for us is uh, in a couple weeks we'll start putting out some new videos. So hang in there. We travel got travel videos. Travel videos. We've got this video, the class B, and then we got. Uh, travel trailers travel and trailer. fifth wheels and fifth wheels and probably some admirable <laughs> missions I just thought were cool stuff from the Tampa RV show so hang in there we're uh, we'll get back to the travel videos but today's class B videos all right so they had to meet our requirements which is a seatbelt for B yep and a bed for B so those yep. were kind of our main and stealthiness because class B's yeah. are still known for the ability to be able to park anywhere, sleep anywhere, yeah. go anywhere. Just pull into whatever parking lot you want and then be able to fit like a normal van would. That to be was uh, advantageous for our class B's. Yeah. So uh, is that our it for? Yeah, I think so. I would also throw out just as a whole, the class B segment seems to be shifting very much, stealing all the European design ideas. And uh, which I think is right for a lot of things to include the quality, the windows, the insulation, the energy resources. I think they're really moving the right way. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. <laughs> okay, number three is the Leisure Serenity. It comes in at about 24 feet. The reason big for class B. It is, yeah. So this got third because it is larger. Um, you can't really fit everywhere like we feel like class B's yeah. should be able to. Uh, 24 feet, I think it's on the Sprinter 300, 3500 chassis, so 24 and a half feet long. Um, the reason we liked this one was because you could utilize the back area for a living area but also a bed. Um, the ability, I, I liked the bathroom door was really cool, it wasn't your typical like yeah. accordion bathroom door. Um, it was a great space saving door and then I also liked... I, I liked the are you going to talk about the back area? Like no, the, go ahead. I, I, she, well, the model we saw was actually um, on a recommendation from one of our viewers. Hey, can you go check this out? And it became one of our favorites. Uh, but the back was what's called the tri-fold option, I think. And so you have it like a lounge, like a sitting lounge, like an L-shaped. And uh, the bench folds out into a bed. Mm -hmm. And so you didn't have a dedicated bed the entire time, but you had a wonderful entertainment space. And that's really what this one was, is high quality entertainment and living space in a very small package. All in one, yeah. And then my other favorite with this one was the dinette. Yeah. A lot of these class Bs have the, the standard two-seater facing forward. Sitting straight up. Yeah, sitting straight up, very uncomfortable. Uh, this one had an L-shaped and then the other little extra cushion Captain couch. Chair thing. Yeah. I don't know. Over there. So And um, it did have seat belts in all those like three or four seats uh, right there. So you could I think seat belt four folks in the truck. Yeah, so you could seat belt them and pretty much sleep them, which yeah. I really liked because a lot of these you either have a lot of chairs but you can't sleep everybody yeah. or you can sleep a lot of people but you only have two chairs, so yeah. that's not really helpful. But completely optioned out, beautiful exterior, interior, the quality, fit and finish fantastic yeah I think they did a great job um, they still have a multi-fuel system so propane for your cooking and then your water heater was kind of mixed your fridge was I think 3 12 volt 110 and propane but don't quote me on that um, and as a whole they had the, the Mercedes-Benz uh, diesel um, option in there as well so wonderful thing as always we throw links into the videos for the specific walkthroughs at the end of this so Stay tuned if you want to see the actual video and walkthrough, which is more in depth than what we're telling you. Yep. Yeah. All right. Two. Number two. What was number two? This one was one of my favorites. Uh, the Road Trek. You remember the Road Trek? So it was. Yes. This the reason it was one of my favorites is it's got this uh, this European and American influence just together. Uh, they've taken what has been road treks and everybody's doing the Sprinter chassis and everything like that, which is kind of normal, but they made it a four wheel drive. They put these gnarly mud tires on there and then they, uh, uh, they went to Quigley, who's synonymous with uh, off-road capability and converting vans into four wheel drives and then they set it up for four wheel drive. So, uh, 
but they took the road track quality and luxury and then put it on top of it. So, I mean, you really got like two unique worlds here, the European class B luxury travel mixed with American four wheel drive get dirty. Um, now, I would also caveat that if you look closely, I don't know if you'll be taking that thing anywhere very dirty because of a couple of reasons. One, really lacking ground clearance. Um, it's super long. It was also on the 3500 chassis, like 2400 feet long. And it had uh, like this mega, mega alternator, but it was just hanging out there underneath the, um, you'll see it in the video. It was just hanging out there underneath the grill, really exposed to any like water or some uh, branches or rocks or whatever it might be. So that was kind of the, the downside of it, but heading in the right track, I really did like it. My favorite was the little drop down hidden secret storage. <laughs> She can hide all, everything. That's right. To her shoes. All of my clothes. I don't know what you're talking about. Look at this tiny closet that I have fit. Yeah, check that out. That's in the video. What else did you it like is. about the interior? It was um, kind of standard for me. It was. Yeah, it was your standard class B. Mm -hmm. um, I, the thing that I wasn't a fan of. Now, well, the thing that I like, let me start out with this. The thing that I like was there was a, as I discuss in the video, but right when you walk in in the sliding door, you have a counter cabinet right. option. You have a wardrobe option or you have a chair option. Yep. So you have three options to choose from, which is great because I feel like some of these floor plans you walk in, it either has two chairs, it has three chairs, it has four chairs. Yep. And this one, you could kind of make it what you wanted, yep. um, which I thought was really neat. So obviously in order to make it our number two, we would have that third chair. Yep. The downside with that is we would have to configure something over those captain chairs to make a bed because it didn't have that that Extra standard space. yeah so that was that was why it didn't make one now if i can find it i'll throw it up at the end of the video a link but heimer on the european segment which now owns road trek uh they're making like these um Bed boards? Like a hammock? Type? It's like a bed board or Something. hammock that goes across the front seats so that way you get that extra sleeping space for the kiddos. Mm -hmm. um, I wish they would make it like an option though. Yeah. It's kind of like this unknown thing that yeah. you have to make yourself. So and maybe it will with time, you know, mm -hmm. they'll they'll throw that in there as an option that you can add on or an accessory even. Yeah. Uh, the last little plug for the road trek here is thumbs up. They're going to like their other platforms, like I think it's called Agile. Uh, 800 amp hours, all lithium batteries, proprietary air conditioning systems, induction cooking tops. So you don't have the propane anymore. You're running either your engine for your generator um, with the big monster alternator, or you're running off of battery and then solar um, supplementing that. So I'm really excited about the way they're heading with all these electric, uh, electrical um, uh, sources, I guess you should say. Um, all right, number one. Number one. Go. Number one is Heimer. Heimer. They are just taking over the Class B world. Not, now, I know I said it just a second ago, but they just bought out Road Trek. Um, Road Trek claims it's because of their uniqueness to it. Heimer, I think, is just putting their foot in the door, and they know that this is one of the biggest segments in the world. Where are you going to start selling RVs? You go to America. Yeah. So the reason I liked this one over everything else was the daylight. Yeah. The windows, the daylight. They have that great um, truck camper style pop up in yep. front. So you walk in, and that's just you've got sunlight everywhere. Um, all of the windows had the option for either the screen, yep. you pull it up, or whatever, yep. vice versa. And then you have the nighttime shade, which I think is awesome, especially necessary, in my opinion, if you have a kid yep. or if you're trying to stealth camp and, you know, it gets dark and you want to watch TV, it's nice mm -hmm. to cover the windows. And I would say the other thing about the windows that was real nice was the uh, they all are those double um, vacuum bonded windows and so they're insulated so you're not just sending all your hot or cold air right out those windows. Yeah definitely. The other thing I really liked about this one um, it had your really sit up tall yeah. um, dinette but you could make a bed out of that. You didn't have to buy anything else. Uh, he would have you know a decent size yeah. bed, really. Yeah, really. So, and most importantly, it was on how many feet? 21? That's my favorite part about 21 foot chassis. So you've got the stealthiness, the capability to go anywhere, park anywhere, yeah. which is huge in our book for Class B. So that was really the key as to 
uh, why this beat out the other two. I think that really separated it out. Now, granted, it still had the propane inside of the uh, chassis, so it's just still working propane, the engine, and then you had some batteries. Um, it, it's, I think it's going there. Just give it a while, you'll see. Um, but yeah, check out the video. Um, it'll give you a quick walkthrough on it. We spent a lot of time with the Heimer guys having a conversation with them, and I think that uh, they, uh, I'm, I'm welcoming, them, welcoming them to the market because they're really gonna start influencing not only the quality of the competitors to start going up, but also where they're uh, branching out to, um, I guess, the American segment. I think they're really liking the influence. Yeah. Um, All together, I, I don't know if I have anything else I want to throw at the Heimer. Um, the the beds, we did have a, uh, like the table did the whole like drop down piece and you put the bed across from the cushion so we had a spot for the kiddo. Yeah. Um, Mom and Dad had a big bed in the back which is that standard twin setup and then you just put a cushion right in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, but once again at 21 feet it had everything. It was a wet, sh wet bath. Um, it had the wet bath, it had the, the kitchen area, but you could open up the doors and there was window, 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 skylight. And it had the screen. And it had a screen. And the built-in screen over the sliding door, which I thought was really cool. Which is where we saw the large separation with this one, say, in the road trek and the leisure, is that when you get out there, you basically, when you're camping, you're, you're part of the scene versus you're, you're away from it. You know, you can shut that stuff back out, you know, and that's... That's not really what we're out there for. We want to be you know, out in the nature. I know we're saying that ironically because we're sitting in an RV, but it's glamping, we know. Um, but very excited with everything that's coming out there in the market. As always, um, Heather likes to say, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, we'll keep sending out these videos. Stay tuned. I'm not sure if we're doing travel trailers or fifth wheels next, um, but we'll get them out there as soon as we can. We're just getting some uh, getting some miles under our wheels right now and we're having a lot of fun. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.